Hello, everybody. A person mm -hmm. by the name of Fast Night. Or Night Fast. Either way. Uh, ask me how I feel about the uh, reboot. Uh, how I felt about the self reboot of Archie Zanuck. Now, I want to make this very clear. Maybe, maybe the Archie, maybe the Archie's not gonna line folks on the forums. Maybe like they may hate the reboot, they may like the reboot, but it doesn't really, it doesn't really affect my decisioning in the reboot about the reboot. To me, I just felt like the reboot came and it, it, it came too soon. All these stories that I loved because I got into the comic like way. Like during the Iron Dominion, and it kind of worked my way around, like I've been, like I've said, and um, you know, just knowing all these stories and all this history with this Sonic, I I never knew, but slowly got to learn and slowly got to like and really appreciated what Sonic, what this Sonic was. But for all that to be pushed away, because you know, Ian, you know. Kim Penders was like, these are my characters, mine! You know, just so, you know, the one thing I don't, the one thing I don't hate Ian for is the fact that he had to do the best he could. Granted, with all the stuff he was planning to do. And Ian, I don't know, went the SJW route. I, like, guys, I've been saying, like, we all know he is, like, have you seen his Twitter, man? It, it's not good. It's a horror show over there. I was trying to talk to Vest. I didn't tell him, like, he hasn't run the IDW comic in the ground yet. What I mean, well, well, peeps, if I show you this, if I show you this, I want you to know something. If you like Ian, just right now, all I'm telling you is to turn away now. Click off of this because this shit will. F if you if you hold Ian in high regard and high esteem, you are not gonna like what you see. If you wanna if you wanna hold on to that, go right ahead. For the rest of you that wanna see this. Don't say I didn't warn you. Ooh. Where we? And you're probably wondering to yourself, where are we going first, Bugsy? I don't challenge this video because we need something a little bit more condensed. And Sonny Amy is not canon now, nor will it ever be. It's time, kids. Again, again, last chance. Anybody want to click off this video right now should go. I am being way, I am being super fucking serious right now. I am not joking. There is no jokes in my voice here. If you don't want to see this, go. Because honestly, this is about to get real. This is about to get real fucked up and I ain't even. And when I saw this, I damn near broke. And you're probably wondering, Bugsy, you broke over this? Yeah, because it's like, you know, it's like uh, Revenge of the Sith. It's like Revenge of the Sith, guys. We're, like, we're all Obi-Wan, and, you know, we're like, we're looking at Ian Flynn, and he's on, like, the lava, he's on the little lava rock, and we're like, you're supposed to be the chosen one! You were supposed to, you were supposed to keep RG Sonic going! 
not fucking up with your SJW shits. Wait a second, what happened? SJW? Wait, what happened? Wait, what happened? And then, like, he looks at all of us and says, In my opinion, you all are, you all are even for not being in the SJW shit. You are truly lost, Ian. <laughs> I don't... And that, I think the SJWs are totally profitable so, when they are not. So, guys, get ready. Get ready for this shit. I am going to show you this on this video of Lance... Jerkoff. Yes, that's his name. <laughs> I think, yeah, last part. Wait a second. Jerk Which Archie Sonic is trying to do this? No, we're talking about, I'm talking about Ian Flynn. Ah. And the other writers, and the other writers of the IDW guy are all the people homophobic Nazis. People really are blind to the effects of SJWs. I'm just saying that because, honestly, comic book industry is failing like a bomb. That's why all of us are, like, going... Because, you know, that's why all of us are going to these, like... You know, that's why all of us are going to these web comics now. <sighs> Unless it makes a solid point and is integral to a said person's character that makes a productive effort on behalf of said character to make something worthwhile to a story, it's not worth putting in your story. Right. Now I'll admit I've been guilty of this a few times myself, but overall, All right, folks. still, it's not worth it. Alright folks, get ready. I'm just, I'm ho I was holding this off as long as I could because I know you guys ain't ready to see this shit. Some of you that have, some some I know have, others do not know. And I, I'm sorry that I'm gonna break the, I'm gonna break this image of Ian Flynn for you guys. He was supposed to be the one that would probably unite the Sonic fandom, but he has brought his own ruination. And that sucks. So here I go. Are you guys ready? I know you guys can't say yes, but I'll just take that silence as a yes. Mm. <laughs> yes. You know, oh God. Fucking hell, Flynn. What have you done? Here is another fucking diet. I was a, I was a jittery kid on... My first step, my first trips to a comic store, I, I asked, asked for help finding a, I think it, that's a Robin book. The clerk sneered, and I don't, I don't know which talent ever I shrank back and left. They lost the sale. I seriously debated whether going to get Going into another comic book that Okay, let me... Okay, let me... Okay, I'll say this. There are, like, certain comic book stores that... Uh, with certain clerks who do that. And, you know, I've... I've, I've seen a lot of people... I've seen a lot... I've been to a lot of comic book stores. Some people are respectful. Others are just big-ass comic book snobs. And to those people that are still around, fuck you! It's what to help the customers get to the comics... Mm. Is what the help the customers get to the comics? Not fucking, not fucking act all superior. Yo, your job is to sell comics, bitch. Not, not to fucking, not to fuck around people. But I don't know why Ian's saying this. But let's read on, shall we? Trust me, I got a lot of, I got a lot of issues with certain clerks too because they're a bunch of ass. Because some of them can be assholes. Years later, I took a good friend to a much better shop, the clerk. The clerk, but she asked the clerk about Wonder Woman. When she made it clear she was looking for vintage material and knew her stuff, the clerk 
the clerk, the clerk's tone went down from sweetie to honey to just, just to one of the guys. What is he trying to say? Tribe. Oh, but this one's somehow it gets even worse. Like you think of all people who are the one of the smartest HJWs in the business wouldn't do shit like this, but he did. Aaliyah Baker with the contributor to Sonic issue 229. She did the coloring, the character design, and conceptualization of 99% of Waves of Change and was given the backup. I received credit for the cover story that she worked on. I was a jittery kid. What oh, he's going to read it for you guys. Shop, I asked for help finding a Robin book. The clerk sneered. Since I didn't know which title number, I shrank back and left. They lost a sale. And I seriously debated ever going to another comic shop again. Years later, I took a good friend to a much better comic shop. Oh, all I got to say to that is there are people who are like that in comic books and comic book shops. Oh, Bugsy has been through it. Old Bugsy has been too few. But she asked the clerk about Wonder Woman. When she made it clear she was looking for vintage material and knew her stuff, the clerk's tone went from sweetie honey to just one of the guys. Aaliyah Baker. All I gotta say is, okay, is that a bad thing? was a consistent contributor since Sonic the Hedgehog 229. She did coloring. Some some chicks don't think that other chicks were got. Some people don't think other chicks were comics. Character design. And consistent well, of waves of change. But was well, I'm wondering what is he getting at? The backups to do I have received cover credit for every story she's worked on. God damn this printer fucking sucks. A friend of mine, the only POC in the office was nearly fired for retweeting an article, handing a comic for being racial, tone deaf. And I am being super vague since I can't afford to burn bridges. These are just my personal experiences. Elitism and bigotry remain in issues at every level of our industry. Gatekeeping is bullshit. Comic skaters are pure bullshit. Comics are for everyone. Thanks for reading. Bigotry. Comic skate is evil. Comics are for everyone. Wow. Original. Yeah, you just said the same thing that every other freaking commie SJW piece of shit has been saying in this stupid industry. Honestly, I'd like for comic books to improve, thank you very much. And yeah, no, even Ken Penders didn't do shit like this when he was being political. At least he was he was far more respectful than this shit. Flynn, you have officially made the dumbest move in your career since... So, he's just saying that every... So he's just saying in their industry there's a lot of shit, but it's like, I don't know, I just felt like he just pulled that one just to say it. saying Sally is gay. This is the... And he said Sally is gay, and he did say Sally is gay. He said it on his podcast, and he said, like, it's always been in the books. No, it hasn't! Because what? Nicole has all... Because you want to, you want to, you guys want to know the truth? From an actual person who read the comics more than this man, and he's written some of them, so he probably doesn't even remember. But hey, let me sh let me show let me show you what let me show you how it's done, kid. Anyway, well, you guys remember that one he time? He says kid. Honey, let me let me get to my point, and I'll explain as I go along. Okay, here we go. Now, remember when Nicole wanted to be you remember when Nicole, Nicole wanted to be flesh and blood? She took you know, she went into Sally's she went into Sally's body one time? Yeah, comics are weird. Anyways, she kinda of felt Sally's emotions and even on two separate occasions kinda of fell for Sonic. So she kinda of likes so Nicole kinda of likes Sonic as well as Sally. So but you're saying that Sally and 
Nicole are gay, when personally, what I see is them having a deep friendship. Now, I, like, I know, like, I'm the most perverted motherfucker here, and I will tell you, I will tell you, even though part of me would be like, yes, make them gay, the rational side of me is like, no, no, that's not, that's not even, they were never, they were never portrayed as gay, or anything, they were more, they were more sisters than they were lovers. But you don't get that, Flynn. You just want something that isn't there. And because you're a writer, you could have done that. And I would have been pissed off at you forever. More than I am with Kim Benders. Honestly, to me, that makes him quite perverted if he kind of made it like that. And I agree. It is perverted to write in sisterly love as a Yuri. No, I mean, no, on. he, he interpreted it. Writing my own the thing, the thing stuff. is, the thing is, and he interpreted their friendship and sisterliness as them being gay, which really isn't the case. They were, they're friends, and, you know, so, and he Son, intended it as such. And when Sonic ain't around, that's the person, that's the person Sally talks to. Well, AI. She likes to. And I'll admit that is a line not even I will cross. Even though there are times I wish I would. But no, it's called being loyal. It's as if loyalty is not a factor. Yeah. Now one can be a bi. But the, but and be attracted to their sister, but still not cross the line. Baby, I'm not talking the about thing is, babe, I'm not talking about that. What I am talking about is that Nicole had more of a kind of attraction towards Sonic that she knew that Sally was in love with Sonic, so she kind of moved on. And we get into the like the respect. And we get to the continuation, not continuate. We get to the fan continuation of Archie Sonic before because the pre because the reboot stuff never happened. Now, and you know, now I'm talking about the reboot stuff real quick. Let me just no. switch gears to that for a minute. Let me talk to the reboot stuff real quick. I liked it. There are some things that were actually pretty interesting, but all in all, what really sucks is that we'll never get answers to those questions with Breezy like a robot, you know, and stuff like that. You know, stuff that I feel should have been answered, but you know, it's cool. Anywho, let's get to let's get to the nitty gritty. So no, I never thought that I never thought even for a minute that Sally and Sally and Nicole were a thing. Nicole. They're only a thing in Mobius Unleashed. <laughs> Y'all don't know what that is. That's porn. That's some Sonic porn for all you kid for all you kitty wanks out there that don't know. Ah, yes. Now that is where it should remain. In it, fact, even in my opinion, some of my fan pairings of some of my characters, yeah, like my a, own characters, will remain in fantasy land on a private server forever. Yeah. So, because they're non-canon. Because I prefer to write certain storylines the way they are with characters' integrity intact, and one of them is actually genuinely pissed at me for writing porn of him. Uh, honey, but I hope honey, 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 let me let me take care of this. All right. I know. I have no regrets. <laughs> Sorry. I love her, folks. Anyways. Anyways, this see like in movies only it's like you can have characters bang each other, you can have any character in Sonic bang each other, and it don't mean a damn thing. It's not canon, it's not nothing, it's just it it is what it is. You know, and personally, even though even though the even though Movies Unleashed gave me an idea for one thing that may be actually true in the Archie verse when it comes to Scourge pretending to be Sonic for a few for like probably like a month. Other than that, yeah, 
Other than that, I don't see Nicole or Sally even getting down dirty or freaky. Or any combination or any combination of what I just said. <sighs> Ian Flynn, it really pains me. Like, it actually pains me. That's why I've been holding off on this. It's been, it pains me to see someone as actually as smart as you kind of are to go down this route. You know, look at what, like, and you also been beat, beating your roses for asking you questions about Bumble King forms. I just thought he was being a little nosy, and you just, you know, you kept telling him no. But I see something else is like, I see, I freaking see that there's something else going on with you. And yes, I do agree that comics are for everybody, but I feel like you have a reason, you have a deeper reason for kind of talking about all this. Trust me, there will always be elitist people in comics, but I feel like there's another reason you said this. Dumbest thing you have ever done, and I don't think you are ever going to be able to get back, back from this. Honestly, elitism and bigotry are an issue at every level. And my like, boy, that's so stupid. And my boy Zos. Like that, but don't think like, oh. I just saw that. My boy Zos is at the bottom probably trying to. <laughs> Try to make sense of all this mess. Oh, I'm gonna be able to get away with this. No, because I get I guess what I screenshotted it and I archived it. You are going nowhere now. And that and guess what? This video is gonna be coming out. I am sick of this kind of nonsense. It's like oh god. And when I found out that Ian Flynn let me let's read what and, that, and guess what? This video is gonna be coming out. Too much. Let's read what's. Let's read what my friend Zachary said in this. Well, this is going to backfire. Just, just like with, just like with John. Yeah, I am sick of this kind of nonsense. It's like, oh god. I mean, they haven't done any SCW politics in the IDW comic, thank God. But I'm still worried. I'm reading it. It feels like a standard Sonic. It feels like standard Sonic fare, but I'm still worried. You know, me being worried is never going to go away, folks. But I feel that this, Ian, why? Why are you doing this? Why? Okay. Let's look at Ian continues to destroy the Sonic. The saga continues. Ian Flynn is still trying to be a political ideologue. Which is not a good idea in an industry like this. But, yeah, this guy asked, what's the context here? I can't find anything about this. Of course, he retweeted Ian Flynn's diatribe against Comicscape. And Ian, of course, responds, an older but still pretty good summation of the movement and why people are standing up to it. First problem is that the article talks about how, oh, Comicscape is harassing people. But, yet... So, the, the, so Ian's not really saying anything or not really explaining it himself. He's just pulling an article out of his ass. Oh. Guys, I take logic and rhetoric. I took logic, logic and rhetoric classes for this exact reason. My God. Do you know how many people? How many SJWs I have to deal with on a daily basis, folks? A lot! And they all don't understand. They don't even have a good argument to work on. And the fact that Ian Flynn just put up all this fucking information and it doesn't even make sense of what he's trying to say and this person's trying to make sense of it and instead of actually saying what actually he's trying to say, he just says, oh, this is all the blah, 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 blah. Pulled an article out of my ass. It's like, yes, I pulled an article out of my ass. 
Yes, I pulled an article out of my ass. You guys wonder, you guys really wanted to wonder why I didn't do this earlier? This is the reason. Because Ian Flynn's a good writer and this just hurts. This actually hurts. Like the time I went at, like the time I did rants on JonTron, it hurts. It, it, this isn't fun for me, you know? What'd be fun for me is like I, I rip I rip on an actual asshole, but Ian's an asshole. This is so it hurts, but I gotta do it because y'all gotta know. Some of you don't even know what Ian's been up to. Because y'all think he's the good right the good writer that's trying to be cool and interesting and fun, but this is the truth. And I posted all to you and so you, I showed this I show Lance's videos to you guys so you guys can really look at this and make your own decision, but it's still, you know, upon finding a whole bunch of other stuff out about Ian that I wish I hadn't, this is worse. <laughs> because Ian, it, Ian was one of my favorite writers. But now look. We dealing with all this shit. Oh my god, so let's made another one. Well, that's not what Comic Gate is. At all. That's not what Comic Gate is. Perhaps you should talk with those in Comic Gate before you assume anything. Before you assume anything you know on anything. That's why people shouldn't be. This is why, if people don't know what they're talking about, they shouldn't be political. If they'll actually, if they don't actually have a good argument, or at least a good statement to really talk about, or at least information of what they're talking about, they don't deserve to be political. I mean, look at our fucking president. Same thing. Yeah, yeah, slam Trump, what y'all gonna do about it? <laughs> Sorry, but, you know, that's what I'm saying. That's why people like Ian shouldn't be political if they don't know what the fuck they're saying. But, but I got one last thing. So today I want to return to the Fertile Grounds of IDW. And why are those but I'll so say this about Trump because a lot of people do ask me about Trump stuff. And you know what? I'll say this. Trump is the exact, the exact thing you don't want to be, and just something you should strive not to be, because honestly, Trump's dumb. I'll just leave it at that. When, when he gets out of office, there's going to be a big old rant for him. But now, it's not even the time for that. Oh, Bugsy has to do what he should have done. It's like, oh, for me, this is like old Geller. I'm putting freaking old, I'm putting, metaphor, metaphorically, I'm putting Ian Flynn down. This ain't fun. It's like old Geller. Fertile, well, because when you have a magnificent trash fire and everything burns to the ground, Basically, you can build something new, and I'm hoping that something new will spring up there because really, that is a loss. If you see some of the people out there and you see how they act, you would think that this company is doing well, and it's not. It's not doing well at all. People behind the scenes are talking about panic and discord. They're talking about an environment that is toxic, to use the words that the other side loves to throw around. But it truly is. I mean, you think about an environment now that is in such dire strait that you have gotten rid of your president. You've gotten rid of the co-founder. You actually had him step aside. He's also the CEO. You've had the uh, editor-in-chief step aside. 
You've had your PR people step aside. You've had your uh, Hasbro lead editor to step out. I mean, there's nobody left. What are you going to do, fire the janitor next? Meanwhile, while all that's going on, you still have people dividing consumers. Because, hey, nobody thought to tell the people out there, you should be positively representing us. When I talk about dire disarray, too, I want you to really understand where this company is. These are their financials. They prepare them. They have to show public records. So if you look at this year, you look at six months ended, so this was halfway through the year, there's another quarter, but they haven't provided the numbers yet, and they're really bad because they have just gotten rid of some more mainstay positions. When you get rid of, again, your co-founder, you're having a really bad time. IDW is really screwing up, guys. Like, certain cogs are okay. But yeah, IDW has been screwing up for a while. Again, knew all this stuff, I just didn't want to talk about it. Because trust me, being hopeful. Being hopeful nowadays for me is better than being negative. But yeah. This is the kind of shit that's going on. This is the kind of shit that's happening on 14% of the value of your company disappearing, yeah, that's not good. But meanwhile, one of the people on what is essentially your flagship title now, Sonic, the person that is representing that, they decide to go out and again and again point the finger at the wrong finger crowd. Why are they out there and why can you point the finger? Because they talk about professionalism. And this kind of crap that we're going to see on display, this is not professional. So let's go through the statements here. I was a jittery kid. One of my first trips to the comic shop, I asked for finding a ramen book. The clerk sneered. Since I didn't know which title and number, I shrank back and left. They lost the sell, and I seriously debated ever going to another comic shop again. So he's talking about professionalism here. I find that to be pretty funny, too, because you and I, when we're talking about this, we are not professionals. We are people that can walk away. Just like the kid out there trying to find a Robin book. Yeah, we're trying to find something that we can support. And we got old Ian here looking over, jeering, and they just lost the sale. But continuing, years later, I took a good friend to a much better shop. But she asked the clerk about Wonder Woman. When she made it clear she was looking for vintage material and newer stuff, the, tone, the clerk's tone went from sweetie honey to just one of the guys. Okay, I don't even see the point to that. Oh, you're going to tell us about this person. I think she was trying to say the clerk. I think the clerk was either a dude, and she's saying that the dude was discriminating, discriminating against her or something like that. I think that's what he was trying to go for. Aliyah Banker was a uh, consistent contributor since, and she did uh, coloring character design and conceptualized 90% of ways of changes, but was given the backups to do. I have received cover credit for every story she's worked on. Okay, so you received the credit for someone else's work. Congratulations there. A friend of mine, the only person of color in the office was nearly fired for retweeting an article painting a comic for being racial tone deaf. And I'm being super vague since I can't afford to burn bridges. So basically, a person that is a friend of yours, the only person of color in apparently, uh, you know, a racist setup, I guess your industry condones racism or selectivism, you're saying that, oh, she was almost fired there. This is, these are my personal experiences. Elitism and bigotry remain issues at every level of our industry. Gatekeeping is bullshit. Comics gators are pure shit. Comics are for everyone. Thanks for reading. So these people here that ask for professionalism and good products, comics aren't for them because they're bullshit. You know, just like, again, at the top of this, his experience, yep, you go in, you try to find something, and, well, the person runs you off.
he gets asked a little bit more about what is the context here i can't find uh, any i can't find anything about this you know so he decides to throw out an older but still to, pretty... but to be real honest the way i see it ian is just ranting for the sake of ranting there's no point there's no there's no actual real point to draw from i know i rant but when i rant i get to a point a point of the whole reason why I feel like this rant is warranted, the whole reason I felt the need to drop a few out a few hours of my time to edit and get all this stuff together. But the thing is, Ian, like I said, Ian pulled this whole like commentator thing out of his asshole and uh, expects us to just get what he said magically just by looking at this article, which may or may not have the answers that we're looking for. And Ian could have been the right dude that would have just said, hey, this is what I was really trying to get across. This is the point I was trying to get across to you. Um, there it is. But all I'm seeing is Ian Flynn just being just... Ugh, folks... I'm tired of SGWs, man. <laughs> you you don't know how fucking tired this chaotic man is. So fucking tired. You know? I guess as you know, I say this is the reason why I stopped ranting, but you know what? I need to start ranting I need to start ranting again. May not as fast and as quickly as I did last year, but you know, ugh, tired of this. Why does everything we all love have to be tainted or ruined by a bunch of SJWs? Just because they either A, don't understand, B, want to push their own political agendas, or C, people like Ian Flynn that don't even really have political agendas for real, but want to say some shit, but won't tell you what they mean. Why does everything we all love have to be put under a goddamn microscope? Can someone tell me why? Why? Why is it so hard? Why? Why do we got people like Ian Flynn and people on IDW that are just doing this shit to people? Or just or just acting like they're all high and mighty and shit? Or, or just... Uh, I don't know. I swear. If I was in Ian's position, I would have. If I was in Ian's position, you know what I would have done? I would. I would have just kept doing the Sonic Con because I wouldn't have said shit. But not because I'm like afraid or anything. But really, being political in this day and age is not the business when you got a bunch of SJWs. Fucking thinking that they know anything about anything. That's what I hate. And that everything we love had to be put under a microscope so these motherfuckers can feel better about themselves. You know, like, a, like analyzing Spider-Man working with the cops isn't really going to help you feel better about the police. Just saying. Hating and and uh, Jonathan McIntosh hating on freaking nukes and Fallout is not gonna make him feel is not gonna make you feel less scared about nukes. And then antagonizing said people for wanting to play this game because you don't get it and you're scared. Ooh, are you scared of the big bad nukes that are gonna drop on you when it's a fucking game? Ooh, you're so you're. Ooh, big bad nukes are gonna happen. You really think? Like, it's a game, okay, dude? We have, we play games to sometimes live out the fantasies we normally can't do. And to have fun. Just for, just for a minute. Just for, and that's why we read We just do it to have a little fun. Just for a few minutes. For, for a few minutes, we can forget about our problems and have a little bit of fun. You know, we can just have a little bit of fun reading, watching our watching our stuff, and having fun. 
But y'all motherfuckers always want to freaking try and be all like, I don't like this, I don't like, I don't like anime that shows big tittied women because big titty women scare me because I have little titties. And I'm like, why do you care? I mean, fuck, if you got a little ass, you got, you got little breasts, and you getting threatened by a fucking, and you're being threatened by a fucking anime character, you need help. It ain't the anime you got a problem with, it's the problem, you got problems with your own body, your own image. And the moment, and the moment you see an anime character with big titties and a brown thing in your face, you get mad. It's like, oh my god. And listen, people like hentai, right? And then and, and people are like, I don't like hentai because hentai because hentai is like, oh, so horrible and shit. I'm like, hentai ain't for you. It's for the people who want to jerk off. Or for the ladies who want to play with themselves. Okay? Just because you haven't just because no one no one find just because some people don't find them, some people physically attracted, that don't mean people can't enjoy themselves in the comfort of their own home. And you know what? Why do you know what? Why do SJWs judge the people who look at porn or look at hentai anyway? Like, why is that a problem? It's a problem for these idiots because either a they never been they never been touched before in their lives. Ergo, they blame the dudes for that problem, and that's why they have this hatred towards them. Or they, or, or they just, or they just freaking think, or like you can be some SGWs who think sexual urges are evil. Hey, hey, don't act like a fucking Catholic church, okay? All right. People can have sexual urges with each other if they damn well please. That ain't up to you. That ain't up to any of you motherfuckers. You got that? You can't control shit. Freaking, you know, the funny thing is, Nina Sharkeesian tried to control shit. She tried to stop people from critiquing her by going to the UN with Zoe Quinn. That failed because... The, the thing is, you can't control what people do. People are always going to treat you like shit or whatever. But you can't control everybody's lot. You can't control people's fucking, what they love to do, what their favorite hobby is, what they, what they do behind closed doors. Because that's their business, not yours. And y'all shouldn't control what people like to do, say, or play, or whatever. I know I'm not really talking about your friend, but I'm talking about all the shit I've been quiet about because it it's fucking irritating. It's been fucking irritating. God dang, I'm not saying SGWs get laid, but understand that there's other people that aren't like you, that don't have the same kind of biases as you. Treat people the way you would want to be treated and stop treating people like they're fucking like they're fucking garbage that came out of someone's asshole. Have some common decency for once in your goddamn lives. Fuck. In the Ian Flair, I got this to say. I got this to say to you. Keep going the way you're going, and you're gonna end up worse than Ken. You understand? You're gonna end up worse than the most hated man in the Sonic comic community. Keep doing this shit. Keep saying shit that you don't even know the you don't even know the real reason behind it. I don't fucking you know what? I don't even fucking care if you hate me for this. You can go suck my magic, chaotic, black, a dick, you bastard. Honey. 
And that goes double for all you SJW fucks. <laughs> and trust me, kids. Because of this. Slide off this ain't my. And because of this, this ain't gonna be my last video on any USJWs. I'm gonna, like, I'm gonna make videos about USJW, about USJW idiots, for a while. So for right now, I'm not really gonna do much. I'm gonna focus on the things that matter to me. But next year, it's, it's open season. <laughs> Because I know one, minutes. Because I know one thing. And my and my girlfriend's playing with her cat. I know one thing. I was it. I whenever I see an SJW talking talking all this mad shit, I'm gonna I'm gonna use my I'm gonna use I'm gonna put my what I've learned in logic and rhetoric class I took in high school to good use. And if any of you motherfuckers want to debate me, we can. We can. And watch me bury you asses under actual factual logic. Because I'm tired of all this SJW feminist shit. Y'all make it harder for regular people that don't even care about the same kind of shit you do. And you don't want to help nobody either. It's just always about you, 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 you. I don't care about the people who fucking suffer every fucking day. It's all about it's all about trying to it's all about trying to be the most important dick in the room. And you know what? No, no, no. You guys are oversensitive assholes. And y'all hate dicks, like, like me, because wait, 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 wait. I'm doing this wrong. Y'all are oversensitive pussies. And y'all hate people like me who bring in logic because we're dicks. And y'all hate. Y'all hate. <laughs> I, to, I was gonna do the whole Team Fortress World Police. I mean, Team Team America World Police thing, but I'm not gonna do it. Just know if the dicks didn't fuck the assholes, you get your pussy covered in shit. You get your dick in your pussy covered in shit. That's all you need to say. That's all I need to say. Whatever that metaphor means to any of you, good. Namaste. I'm done, folks. For the rest of you, if you want to know more about, if you want to know about more about Ian Flynn, the IW comic, the IDW comics, and everything else, I the playlist I use for this will be in the description below. I'm Bugsy, and my rant, my rage. Has only just begun, I guess. Just when I think I'm out there, idiots pull me back in with their blatant stupidity and their and their limited understanding of the world. Peace. And oh yeah, fuck you, Ian Flynn. Fuck you up, your stupid ass.